This day was originally intended to be just kind of 10 sets at power snatches at 75% and 10 sets at 75% of power clean and jerks. But I have a few more days before my contest, so I figured I'd do some tall snatches as a primer to really focus on that turnover. I noticed I was pretty wobbly in my heavy day the other day and just um, really focusing on getting nice and tight on that catch. Coming on my toes to simulate that balance in that the end of the second pull. And I went right into power snatches. Uh, I didn't really do any additional power snatch warm-ups. The tall snatches were actually an excellent primer. And these was just really focusing on being pat fast and aggressive and just getting a nice solid lockout on that turnover. Um, it's been a while since I've done powers. I've been doing regular full variation, but I think the power snatches will will help me just uh, meet the bar better when the day's heavier. Um, I kept the theme the same, so I started with tall cleans um, and just kind of felt a weight that felt pretty good. I also noticed on my jerks, the, the jerk dip's been pretty sloppy, so I'm trying to use every opportunity I can to just work on that jerk dip drive. So you can see here, I added these in. Um, and I actually broke the power clean and jerks up. Originally, I was just gonna do a power clean, but I decided to do a power clean jerk squat and a push press to really pattern that jerk drive. And I think uh, as the sets went on, these went pretty good. It's been a while since I've done push presses and I was actually debating whether or not the slide back on the push press is detrimental just because um, I'm sliding my body back and that's going to put the bar a little bit more forward than than I really want to in the jerk. So, but I really, I reviewed the reps, I reviewed the videos after each set just to make sure my hip was the right spot for the jerk squats and the push presses. And now on to jerks. So just patterning that jerk squat into a tall jerk and just kind of do it in slow motion to make sure my hip is in the right spot, make sure the weight's distributed right over the middle of my foot. And then also coming up on my toes to simulate that full hip and knee extension and really just trying my best to meet the bar where it's at. On to jerks. So originally I was gonna do a push press plus a jerk, but I did the push presses during the cleans and I figured I'd just continue to pattern that jerk dip squat. So I combined the jerk dip squat with the jerks and actually it worked out really well. These felt amazing. These felt the best that they have felt in a very long time. I had taken out work from the blocks a few weeks back just cause I wanted to get a little bit more specific but I think my technique has been deteriorating. So I think this was a great, great approach to the um, speed work day, 75%. I actually went a little bit heavier. I went um, about five kilos heavier. So we're at 100 and 110. And you can just see how aggressive the lockout is. Um, and yeah, I was super happy with how these went. Um, I did nine sets at one, 110. Just be very patient on that jerk squat and just be very confident that I'm gonna be driving it forward and up. And then I had to end with a one front squat at 120, which was about 85% of my max, 75% uh, of my max. And I figured I'd just give it a jerk afterwards and, uh, and end up, I ended up on a good note there.